no! What's up, my cool dudes? I'm Dylan Dude, and welcome back to the Pokemon White Wedlock. In the last episode, we explored Kel Castilla Sea some more. And in this episode, we're going to keep exploring Castilla City. But as you guys are probably thinking, wait, why are you back outside Pinwheel Forest? Well, at the end of the last episode, I mentioned I was going to do some grinding, and I did, so I'll give you guys a quick team recap. And while I'm still here, I do want to evolve Toph. Anyway, kicking off the team to start off with, we've got Gao Koga, the level 23 Scraggy. Very nice and jolly nature with the Billy Shed skin, Sand Attack, Faint Attack, Headbutt, and Brick Brick. And um, Gao Koga is linked to Jackal and the naive Pansy with Rock Smash, Yawn, Bite, and Flame Burst. Then on our own, we've got. On our own, we've got Toph with Smackdown, Rock Smash, Mud Slap, and Headbutt. Now, I'm here because I want to evolve Toph and Ordino gives out XP, so we go around for a, run around for a little while. Hopefully, an Ordino will appear for us. We can evolve Toph. And then I want to go back, because we can actually get the Firestone in um, Castelli City. I w honestly, when we still had Pampor, I was debating which one to evolve, but well, you know, we've got a um, pan we've got literal, we've only got a Pansy now, so I guess we're evolving at Pansy. Anyway, let's we need to take out this thing first of all. You gotta love how it still has speeds Toph, even though like Toph's like 12 levels above above it. Toph is double the level. But anyway, we've got a bit to do today. We're gonna get the um I well I said. We're gonna get the fire stone, then we're going to go get the amulet coin because we reunited the three dancers in love. And then I think it's about time we move on after that, get some of the other story stuff done. Okay, seriously? Really close? <sighs> Come on. You know what? Um, Toph will evolve. La Toph will evolve later on. Like we can give, just put Toph at the back. Give Toph the XP shit, and Toph will evolve later. Will evolve soon. Because and we can get the Eviolite to uh, Galkarga. And Galkarga can start playing some work. We can give the XP shit, as I said, to Toph. Then we can switch them around. I think that's what we will do. Now we have to cross Sky Arrow Bridge again. I'm honestly, I'm. I wish we actually had the bike because that would save so much time going through Sky Arrow Bridge. Dodge the hiker. Is that we've already battled most of these trainers. I want to dodge everyone with that we haven't battled because you know. Anyway, return of the good music. <sighs> so, if we defeat um, Berg, this is a gym leader, we can get tons of new encounters. We could probably even get a full team. Because we got the um, Desert out of the outside encounter of the desert resort, we got the outer encounter, we got the inner encounter, and then we got um, then we got relic castle, an encounter with relic castle. Plus we get a fossil, and from then on we can, and then when we get to Nimbasa City, we can go to the west, get an encounter there, plus then another encounter lost lawn forest, and then we can, I think we can go to the right a little as well, but. Gonna have to check a bit ahead for the to the right because I don't want to battle Sharon so quickly. After, we're gonna have to battle him after the gym. 
Anyway, let's hit up this Pokemon. Oh wait, I healed up. That's right. I healed up. That's right. I'm pretty sure to get the Firestone, we have to go down here. Yeah, we talked to this scientist guy. I'm pretty sure. Yep, I'm going to say Pansia because we have a Pansia. We will evolve Jacqueline pretty much immediately. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and evolve Jacqueline. I'll see. It's a if I honestly am not sure about doing it now, but we need like we need some evolved power on this team. Honestly, I miss the old black and white evolution animations. They just look so nice. But anyway, Toffee—I mean, not Toff. Jacqueline is going to evolve into Simicia. Honestly, let's check out these improved stats. Like honestly, Jacqueline should have like some really high stats now. Now, nature, okay, not as uh, high as I would have liked, but. Look at that. That is so much better than it was. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, we should really go get that amulet coin now, shouldn't we? Yeah. Um, we'll get it before. We'll get it before the gym, I think. Anyway, I'm sure we're now we go again. That's the Royal Unova. Okay, we can't go on that until post game, and I'm probably not even doing post game for the lock. I think it's this one. Because I know you have to find Bianca on one of these docks, no? Wasn't there? Yeah, I'm doing that pass by analytics stuff. No way. No. no how? Wait, do we actually have to try and enter the gym first? Is that what we have to do? Cause that doesn't sound right. No, I did not mean to go up there. That's that shady back alley. Though honestly, I want to leave it to um, Jacqueline and Gao Koga to take on the gym by themselves. Okay, it looks like we do have to enter the gym. Yeah, I guess we have to go for the gym, so let's go. Guess, yeah, here we go, um... Oh, yeah, we don't have potions, but honestly, okay, let's try going in. Ah, uh, here we go. Hey, Julie, I just found a gym leader, Berg. He's a seasoned gym leader, and he made me work for that gym badge. But bug type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm gonna keep winning like this against all of, uni of the Univer Regions gym leaders. Then I'll head for the Pokemon League and outperform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer I am. That will make you feel. That will make me feel truly alive. Cherry, you're not good. Okay, just drop it. You are no good at all. <laughs> Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plasma repeatedly. <laughs> if I remember, your name is Dueling. <laughs> Come to Chanter Gym, I suppose. Ah, uh, sorry. Could you wait a bit? The form the Team Plasma has shown up. <laughs> right, come on, look, come with me. I'm going to Prime, to the dock at Prime Pier. <laughs> well, we've already gone halfway up this street, so we might as well go get that amulet coin. Well, see, next episode we will definitely be taking on the gym. Thank you for the thank you.
Actually, I want to give the uh, I want to give the Evilite to Gal give the Evilite and Galkogo because he's like look at those stats. Galkogo ain't gonna be taking hits on his own. Anyway, let's just get going. Let's go back down to Prampia. The amulet coin would be will be so good late game, like when we need to double all the money and get all the full restores. I think this one's Prampia. No, this one ain't Prampia. Okay. I forget which one of these is the right one. I think this one's it. It's definitely the biggest. Yep, here we go. Okay, so Iris is a... Heh <laughs> heh, come this way. This way, little boy. Team Plasma, they took this young lady's Pokemon. Eh <laughs> heh. Like, oh my gosh, Dueling, is there anything we can do? My Muna! Team Plasma took my Muna! Okay, I'm honestly not sure what... I guess I could try this voice for Iris. <laughs> I heard this lady scream, and I ran after the thief as fast as I could. But this city is so big and so crowded, I'm afraid I lost them. Heh <laughs> Iris, you did everything you could. But that's so bad. Taking people's Pokemon is really bad. Cause it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something, the other doesn't, and they help each other. Iris. Agreed, hehe. <laughs> no fear, we will get the Pokemon back. Right, dueling. Having said that, finding a person or Pokemon here in Castellia City will be like finding a needle in a haystack. Hehe. <laughs> Plot convenience is convenient. Like, oh my gosh, a gym leader! I spy a gym leader. Last time it went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon rethinking. I need to get out of here! Dueling, let's go. <laughs> Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard. So you two go after the bad guys, okay? Like, I'm butchering a lot of these voices, and honestly, I gave Iris a voice like that, because honestly, I am not a fan of Iris as a character. In the anime, she was just so annoying, I'm just... Sorry, but honestly, I can't... I honestly can't say anything good about Iris's character. That way, heh <laughs> heh. Mm, they're heading towards the gym, heh. <laughs> heh, what do you know? Seriously, though, this is just, like, convenient. It is... Team Plasma's hideout is conveniently by the gym, um... But can I get a screenshot of this with... Can I actually get, a, like, a good thumbnail pic of the... No, that's, um... What I was looking for. Can I get, like, a good thumbnail pic of... That's because, honest. So, damn it, I'm. S s okay, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, good. I got my picture. This is definitely the place. Uh -huh. No one's here. Not a soul. Not a soul. I don't love a team plus members of nor any of the seven sages are inside. Okay, seriously, these guys are the worst liars ever. Now I'm recording this the day it goes up, but these guys are the worst ever. Okay, seriously, this is crazy. If you think I'm lying, why don't you find, have a little bow and find out? Take care of this week. Look, oh, you see, show off a handy tough guy over there. Oh, please, Dueling, I'll leave that one to you. <laughs> so, honestly, Team Plasma... So, Team Plasma can... is terrible at... 
So, okay, so Team Plasma decided that yes, we'd have three guards standing at the front. Three guards in uniform, in Team Plasma uniform, standing at the front of their hideout in Castelli City. That is such a terrible plan. But anyway, we get brick break. We get fine. Seriously, Gakko you just broke those bricks over it's over Sandile's back. And Top is gonna go to level 25. And it's another Sandile. Okay. Yeah, Kurgi can just break bricks over this Sandile's back as well. Like, okay, so this move is Brick Break. It's supposed to break bricks. So what do you think it does to the back of a, another Pokemon? Come on, seriously, all I did was take away people's Pokemon. We're gonna get money. And look, Toph is evolving. So finally we have some evolved power on this team. Finally, we have some evolved power. Actually, that would make a pretty good screenshot as well. But, nah. 12 wants to learn power jet. Yo, okay, that's 70. Um, Smackdown's 50. Um, I'm going to get rid of Mud Slap for Power Gem. This might be a bad move. But Smackdown will come in handy for the next gem. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad for Team Plasma. Oh, Plus Bad for short. Plus Bad. No, 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 Plus Bad. Plus Bad. Okay, I'm just. But seriously, they are making up words now. Okay, plus bad is now got to be a thing. It's in my best interest to go report to Seven Sages right now. So there are no Seven Sages in there, apparently. Phew, we got lost. Even with the X trans directions from the X transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Hehe, <laughs> Team Plasma is inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. What? Wait! Dueling, you come too! Okay, let's. Let's check out. Um, Let's check out Toph now that she's evolved. Toph has evolved the modest nature. Yeah, it's physical. Physical attack is so much better than a special attack, but we still have Power Gem just in case. Like that low speed, but honestly, we give Toph the like we can give Toph the Violet back. Go item, we can go take, we can go item, we can go give. Like we give Toph the Violet. Like we can give Toph the Violet now. We'll give Galkoga the um. No, that's the XP share. We don't give Galkoga the XP share. We give Galkoga the. Actually, no, we don't need to. Um, actually, we don't need to really need the XP share right now, do we? No, we don't. Okay, let's go in. Like, there's three of them here. Oh, Justice. <laughs> um, what was my... Yes. My word! No, that's, um... <sighs> I forget what I did for Justice's voice. It was... This plays voices, damn, um... Pokemon Liberation. No, that doesn't sound right. I have come to talk to you today about Pokemon Liberation. No. Ah, uh, damn it. My word! No, that's Berg's voice. My word, I'm stealing Berg's voice. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it, why can't I speak?
I, I, honestly, I, you justice doesn't show up enough for me to remember his voice, his voice. Um, my word, if it isn't Burke, the gym leader. Hehe. <laughs> so what would you say is a guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Hehe. <laughs> Take what you want for people. Hehe. <laughs> Bronius. Um, what do I give for Bronius? Do I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Because you had three guys standing outside in uniform! Indeed. No matter. We already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unifa region? I am. It's a white dragon type Pokemon, right? The truth is that the white dragon Pokemon appeared before a hero who saw the true way to knit together a world full of many warring people. This white dragon Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, together, I can't speak today, the power of, of this Pokemon and the hero brought, brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. The end. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to the Unova region once again. If we were... If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean, not me, no, all that Team Plasma desires. It's definitely just not just me, guys. <laughs> Here in Castellia City, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. <laughs> Honestly, it does something about what you're saying I don't... There's something about what you're saying is I don't understand. I can't speak today. Is yes. What is it? One thing is we all have in common is that we care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting f for the first time can talk about Pokemon, talk or battle or trade. Hehe. <laughs> Remember your speech at a Cumulus town. You were responsible. For for leading me to re rethink my relationship with Pokemon, heh <laughs> Were you there? No, seriously, was Bur... Berg was... Bur no, that dude was not there. For that, I thank you. And at that time, I made a promise, heh <laughs> I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly, heh <laughs> What you guys are doing... Aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm... Uh, that bursted out right there. You were quite hard to figure out a little more intelligent than I expected. I'm fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I've kept knowledgeable people for a king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Yes, we are a... Yes, very well. We are a... Yes, we are a famous rock band, and we will be autographing soon. Call your world to it. But anyway, we will submit you to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there. Return that Pokemon. Like, oh my gosh, thank you. Mooney, I'm so glad to see you again. Like, oh my god, you had me so worried. Bianca, why are you thinking them? They take people's precious Pokemon. It's like, oh my gosh, Iris, chill. It's just I'm so happy that my baby Moon is safe. My gosh, seriously. 
The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will refine the legend of the universe and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. Till we meet again, that's all. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah! What do we do? If anything's happened to the other stolen Pokemon. Heh <laughs> heh. Like, oh gosh, it's okay. Thank you, Iris. No one was hurt more than anything. I got my darling Pokemon back. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Heh <laughs> heh. Like, oh, it will would be sensational to look around Castelli City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Like, Iris! Mm -hmm. That's great. Iris the Dazzling Pokemon Trainer. Maybe, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, a little give and take, hmm? People in Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, this is for you. A Yachi Berry. Thank you, Iris. What I've always wanted to see you. Wow! Like, oh my gosh, wait! Heh <laughs> heh. Well, then, dueling, I'll be waiting at the gym. Ooh, item. Smoke wall that it may come in handy. Like, okay, let's see what's up here before we end the episode off. But, seriously, Team Plasma's logic just never ceases to amaze me. It is so funny how terrible their logic is. Like, seriously, can Team Plasma's logic. Yes, we'll have three guys in uniform. Okay, seriously, first there was the Dream Yard incident with the with their flawed logic there. But Team Plasma's logic is getting flawed, more flawed by the week. But anyway, guys, I am going to end off the episode here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, could you please show your appreciation by smashing that like button down below? And I will catch you guys next time.